Hey, how's it going guys? Zedai here. So today I wanted to talk about Grand Theft Auto 5, specifically for its next gen upgrade. Now it's important for me to clarify that this is coming from uh, Zelnik and since he is actually a bigger part of the Take 2's interactive. And so he actually got into the details mentioning Grand Theft Doro as a sort of a port towards the PlayStation 5. He even stated that it's, they're not trying to strive it into being as a port, but more closer to like a full on different experience to a remaster. Well, that's what he said anyway. That depends, of course, if we can trust him on that port, but anyway, we have to wait and see for that. But yes, uh, let's get into it. So Zelink was asked about this during the Morgan Stanley Technology Media and Telecom Conference on March 3rd about the remaster that it will be taking in the Takes Two's future strategies. He made it clear that they're aiming to differentiate themselves from the competition. And as such, this is what he stated. I'm not sure if they'll be a bigger part of the strategy. Remastering has always been part of the strategy. We've done differently than the competition. We don't just pour titles over. We actually take the time to do the very best job we can make title different from the new release for the new technology that we're launching it on. He also added that regarding this, that they're striving to do the best of consisting of improving the technology, upgrading the visuals, and also making performance enhancements when the remaster of the old titles for the PlayStation 5 and the Series X. Now it's also been touched on regarding of a question, will the Grand Theft Auto V be actually be remastered in this case? And Zelix stated that he was confident that PlayStation 5 and the Series X users would get everything that they're hoping for. It was a standard bearer when it was launched, it continued to be standard bearer in the second generation. We'll see how Grand Theft Auto does in the next generation. He reassured basically Grand Theft Auto fans that when Rockstar brings the game to the PlayStation 5 and the Series X, it won't be just a simple port. And so in this case, I would even have to say that this is not really like a Grand Theft Auto 5, but for the next gen, but closer to Grand Theft Auto 5 Remastered for the next gen. Now we don't know anything regarding of this release. It's predicted and stated that it may be coming at the end of 2021. He himself even stated that anything to be confirmation wise, it will be revealed by Rockstar Games directly. So obviously not to believe those rumors and speculations from other sources. This also raises a question at least that I want to ask, what about Grand Theft Auto 4? Because realistically, Grand Theft Auto 4 was the only game that never got a true next-gen implementation. Never to the PlayStation 4, never, well, so far it does not seem like it's gonna get it to the PlayStation 5 either. Personally, I would love to experience Grand Theft Auto 4, let's say even a remastered version of that on my PlayStation 5. Man, that would be so, so much fun. There's a lot of rumors again saying that the trilogy of the Grand Theft Auto, such as Grand Theft Auto 3, Vice City and San Andreas will be getting a remaster. And yet, you know, people are always trying to find some kind of connections to these. So, you know, they're just basically looking forward to, and maybe it's not a good idea as well, because again, overthinking these sort of stuff and making your big expectations even higher than that, it's just, you know, it's not a good choice. It's like a recipe for disaster of being disappointment. Yet again, you know, there's a lot of talks and rumors that Rockstar is actually still working on the Grand Theft Auto 6. Now that will be very interesting to see how that will be, you know, produced as. Now, again, I do expect a lot of big things from the Grand Theft Auto 6 and I do expect it to come out sometime soon, but I'll have to say that you should expect it later than sooner. Basically meaning don't expect it this year, perhaps even pushing it to next year. I would even have to argue to say after the... <sighs> unfortunately after this, I feel like it's only going to be coming like maybe 2023. And I'm talking about the very first trailer. And how we know how the Rockstar likes to go about their releasing their games. Usually they release the trailer two years after that's when they release their games. So in this case, 2025 will be the more realistic approach to the release of the Grand Theft Auto 6. Yet again, they, can may, they may push this and maybe they'll go and monetize the hell out of the Grand Theft Auto Online. Because yet again, it's getting a remaster. For, well, I should say, 
and next-gen upgrade towards the PlayStation 5 and a Series X. It's very possible. You know, they're not in a hurry, they're in a very comfortable position. And look at this, Grand Theft Auto is still on top charts all over the world, and so why would they need to bother? You know, business is business, it's always better to keep getting earned money if there's no decline. And in fact, in this case, it seems like Rock, uh, Rockstar's games, well, specifically Grand Theft Auto, is on a high rise for, for real. And that's kind of unfortunate news, because this means that there's no objective for them to continue and strive to make sure that the Grand Theft Auto 6 will come out as soon as possible, when they feel like it's ready. And you know, I'm not saying or telling them to hurry up along, get the damn game out already. No, of course not. We don't want that. We don't want an early, um, you know, development of not even being done properly. We don't want it to be a rushed job. It's important to have it done prop, like done right. We don't want to have a similar experience as we did with the Cyberpunk. Man, it's just uh, so bad the way, you know, CD Projekt Red cannot go wrong. Well, how, look at how that turned out to be. <laughs> Still, Rockstar can actually make it worse in their own, um, you know, aspect, but yet again, we'll have to wait and see whatever they do worse may be. Rockstar, the only bad thing that I do know, it's basically going with the direction of the monetization and always constantly not doing anything except just putting all their time and effort into the Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, I'm sure a lot of people that do play Grand Theft Auto Online, I'm no longer one of them, of course, but like... They are having a blast at the time and uh, yeah, they don't need anything else except the Grand Theft Auto Online. But yet again, this means that we know Grand Theft Auto 6 if they keep on buying the microtransactions, shark cards. And this means what is the point of continuing going to you know, make Grand Theft Auto 6 if Grand Theft Auto 5 is super popular and is getting them the cash. You know, see what I mean. Now, that's not to say that Grand Theft Auto 6 is not going to be popular. Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be 100% popular know that in my mind. As soon as we'll release, it will hit world records for sure in terms of the sales and copies to be sold. Pre-orders are gonna go crazy, there's not gonna be enough to go through. But yeah, Grand Theft Auto 6 is nowhere near to of its release. Grand Theft Auto 4 may get an upgrade or I should say remaster for the PlayStation 5. I really do hope that is the case, but that's just my uh, wish list, sort of say, right? Grand Theft Auto 5 is the most, uh, you know, obvious thing that it's gonna get a port to the PlayStation 5, or at least I should even say a remaster. But yeah, anyway guys, that's all I wanted to talk about for today, not much news to go on. I uh, just wanted to touch on regarding as well what's been happening in ba behind background. It's also because I have not been uploading any videos as of late for like fa past 5 days, so... First of all, I've been working on my other rest of the bigger videos that did not yet release. And um, yeah, they're going to be coming out soon. First already, one of them is already out on my Patreon. Please do be sure to check that out. And uh, also, uh, I've been sick. I actually have been sick, so I could not really commentate. So you may also no notice that my voice may be a little bit different right now, but I don't think so, at least because I had a nose problem. But anyway, my voice may have changed a little bit. But anyway, even now. So, uh, yeah, there's also just not enough information for me to, to be talking about in terms of news or anything that at least interests me. But this is actually was newsworthy, at least personally for me, because I'm actually intrigued about this. Grand Theft Auto 4, that's what I'm hoping for to release as a remaster for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, I had enough, I had my filling with it. I don't know how much more they can really do with it for the next gen for the PlayStation 5. I don't know, we have to see and wait. Grand Theft Auto 6 is definitely one of my most anticipated games ever, and I'm definitely looking forward to see how that will turn out to be. But again, you know, knowing Rockstar, they're gonna take their sweet time. Alright, thank you so much for watching guys, like and subscribe, see you guys all.